All right, guys. One of the things for this supercharger, you have to take off the plug that was here, it was sticking up, and then this hole, they give you this tool, this slides in here, it's pressed in, and you screw this in, and it's a spacer right here that you tighten this up, and it squeezes this out, so we got that out. So now what we need to do is, is relocate this vacuum is what it was. Here, let me show you. This is what came out. I cut that off because I was going to heat him up because I couldn't find the piece I needed. But he was in here like this. And it was sticking up here. Well, in order for the supercharger to work, you can't have anything sticking up because it's going to be too high and it's going to hit that. So, you have to take this out. And then we got this. Goes in with Allen, seals it up. Holes reroute it on to the next. Let's get it. Sitting in there pretty good. Wind up. First thing we're going to do is get that air conditioning belt on. Then we'll work on the water pump. Let's get it. All right, guys, to order to hook this up, we gotta relocate our coils. We had to shear off the valve covers in order to get them right. This is a little relocation kit they give you. you relocate them in a different set. I already did one side. Let's take a look at it. Just kind of drops them lower than normal. That was the point of shaving these off in order for it to fit. So they get a relocation kit. So I'm gonna work on the other side, start getting these plugs in. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Let's make this happen. Let's see what we got here. Pull him out. We 
kick you back on. Yes, sir. We going with the big dog. We gonna make this happen. Let's pull him out. See what we got. Oh yeah. It's the Magnus. 2650. We're gonna put a little extra on it. Oh yeah. He's a beastie of a beast. Now you understand why I'm not going back with the LT2. Even though the LT2 did a grand, he ain't gonna do what this one's doing. All right, so let's get on it. Just tell us to take this top off and we're gonna have to pull these off too the reason you take the tag off is two in each one of these that actually works the top and we got to put it back together but we got to get it ready so in the meantime uh, oh there's two all right we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Pull the bricks out. Let's get them bricks out of there. Smaller size. Kick you back in. the fronts pulled off.
guess they come off. Rubber right here, rubber on this. So make sure it's sealed. Nice. Okay, for that side. problem out of this for nothing. Nice little spot out the way. Right here. to the intake. Got one way back there in the cut. That one, that one, that one. You got these five on this side. This is what. And they got an adapter piece to hook to that. And I seen on one guy, he said you ought to put it in before you actually put it on. Don't wait to put it on, then try to snap it in. It's more of a pain in the butt. This ought to give us a little extra, huh? All right, you know the drill. Let's get it. All right, it's asking us to install the stud here. Looks like we're gonna have to put this on. It's gonna go on with this nut. All right, guys, we got this sucker on, and uh, I'm telling you, it's a pain in the butt. Nobody ever said it was gonna be a piece of cake, but 
be sitting there. Now the instructions tell us to go ahead and mount them in with the 10 bolts they give you, which are these five on each side. You gotta put some blue on it. And they're gonna go in those holes. If you can see, you can't. Those holes. So we're gonna get them mounted in and see where we at. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get these ready. Get this going. Let me get the blue on. I'll kick it back in. Oh, yeah. They also said you take these washers and you put them on each one of them. And what you got to do is put all on one side and moisten it up with a little lubricant. They give you a lubricant package. Super lube. Put on the bottom half of that. So I guess when you go to tighten it down, it won't wear in the holes. So we about to kick in with that. Let's get it. says we have to do three passes all the way through I need to get those back ones and we're gonna do three passes on the third pass it's a one oh six inch pounds let's get it down three rows 106 inch pounds all right let's move on to the next next is telling us to connect this map which I already heard it's better to do it in the back first which is back there so we already got him here.
Okay. Let's go to the next. All right. It tells us to get this, plug it into the EVAP, lead this one this direction, and bring it this long piece under for this. It'll be plugged later. Next, we're gonna get the map breakout harness. That is gonna plug to the other side of the map. Supplies getting low. I must be getting there somewhere. All right. We got the uh, air of the water cooler in. You got to take off those bushings. Put these brackets on. On the bottom. It's a little bushing that goes on the end of that little stick. You rivet these on. I just happen to have a hand rivet gun. And these are the same brackets as the cross brackets, which will go up the top. And I'll show you that. So we're getting there. All right. Let's get it. Let's get it in. Yeah, sports back on horn. Oh, that's in instructions. Just follow it up. Air to water, air to water, water cooler. Air to water, blah, 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 blah. Core. It's cooling the supercharger. One and a half inch drill hole. Slot down there already made for it. It just had me take those brackets off down here factory frame put that on there funny looking bracket or funny looking pump but of course Two-hand job. Let's get it. All right, guys. Even though the pump's installed, they had us install the line that goes between here and the radiator. Comes out right there. It's for the bottom line. There, the water cooler. Then next they had that installed. And next we'll be putting the top one on. It's gonna come up and connect to that. Alright. Let's get it. Alright guys. Ever since we supported this and finished this up out here, I did quite a bit of steps. One was after we put the pump in, we had to hook it up to that the reservoir. We had to run the EVAP from the back pole all the way to this. Put the EVAP in, connect it to the little thing that's going across. We had this one earlier in the game. We had to run to this, which is going under. And this relay, that's a fuse for the supercharger. And it's a relay up under there. He's hiding, but he's right up. He's in there. And he's coming up, powering this terminal under here. And of course it's grounded. And that of course supplies the pump down there, which for the most part, we just ran him across all the way over. 
You can see him right there. This light on the circuit. Yeah, right there. Going up under the bottom of this. So now, instructions is telling us to put the brakes in.
All right. This is what we down to. Let's get it. Well, it's all torqued down. Now it's just a matter of putting the badges on, which is basically the uh, magnum, magnets and tags up top. They up here somewhere. But in the meantime, we just put a pulley on. So now it's time to put the belt on. Alright. Let's get it. Got him on. Little hustle ain't that hard. Now I'm just waiting for that. 103 to come in and finish him on up. Anything I got left is the throttle body on, which I'm getting at 103, and put the air cleaner on, which y'all already know. It's the Roto Fat. Hooking up that catch can back, gotta do a little maneuvering. After I hook this catch can hose, we're gonna be back in effect. A little left. Let's get it. Sets up too. Bam. Nice. All that's all left to do is fire this puppy up. Guess we gotta get him programmed. Just in case you never had, it's a warning. It sucked up two of them. Ten quarts for the beast. Damn. Oh, sorry. Well, we're getting there. Trying to fill this sucker up with some fluids. Just had two gallons of antifreeze and y'all know what kind goes in these cars. It just sucked that up. One and a half in the tank, the other half went through the supercharger and it still ain't enough. Well, going to the store I go. Alright, let's get it. <laughs> 